Dear learner, welcome in my lecture of web technology. The topic of today's lecture is Java server pages, JSP, JSP element, JSP actions. Myself, Dr. Astosh Kumar Bhatt, Associate Professor, School of Computer Science and IT, Uttarakhand Open University, Haldwani. So the learning objective of this lecture is to make clear understanding of JSP action, different types of JSP action. In previous lecture, we have discussed about creation of small web application and JSP elements, JSP scriptlet, as well as JSP include page, tag library, and page import. So, in this lecture, first of all, we will discuss about JSP action tags. So, JSP under JSP action tag, we have JSP forward action tag and the example of JSP forward action tag without parameter as well as we will also learn the example of JSP forward action tag with parameter. So these two programs we will understand in this lecture. So these are the two uh, category also the forward action tag. There are many JSP action tag or elements each JSP action tag is used to perform some specific tasks. The action tag are used to control the flow between pages and use the Java bean also. So that's why this lecture is very important. Action tag are very important. So you can see the different action tag and the different action tag are JSP forward, JSP include, JSP use bean set property, get property, JSP colon plugin, JSP colon parameter, JSP colon fallback. So these are the different JSP action tag. So first of all, JSP forward, forward that forwards the request and response to another resources. And when we are forwarding the request or response, we can also pass the parameter. And in a particular page, we can include the other resources, other files also. Use bin, JSP colon use bin. This is for using the Java bean. So creates locate bean object also. Set property, it is also part of bean, use bean. Uh, when we are using the bean component, then we can set the value of a property in a bean object. And grab property, when we will set the value, same time when we will receive that value, we will use get property, print all the value of the property of the bean. Plugin also be used, it embeds another component such as applet. So other component when we require to add in our program, our application, then plugin also be required. JSP parameter PARM set the parameter value. So we can pass the parameter, we can get the parameter value. So we use JSP colon parameter. It is used to forward and include mostly. And finally, JSP colon fallback is also there. So uh, this is one of the programs where we are using the forward page. You can see here the first JSP action tag that is JSP colon forward. So JSP colon forward is here. So this is indexed or JSP page. Mm, program is started by HTML body and then we have mentioned here heading to this is index page and here the four, fifth line is JSP colon forward page equals to print date dot JSP means we, uh, we should already have uh, the print date dot JSP. So uh, as this index dot JSP will run it will forward to the next J print date dot date dot JSP. It will forward, it will move to the next page, next JSP page print date dot JSP and the program will close slash body slash HTML. So when uh, this will ex execute, print date will uh, start to run. So here you can see the print date dot JSP. So again, this is the another program. This program will uh, executed by this index dot JSP by using this JSP colon forward page uh, statement. So here print date dot JSP, HTML, then body and percentage out dot print is uh, output statement. Today is, it, this is a statement plus java dot util dot calendar dot get instance to get time. By using this get instance, 
we are getting the time and we are displaying the time we are printing the time by get print so this will print the time this will print the time of the system so program will be closed here by body slash body and slash html again see this forward page will forward the uh, forward it to the uh, print date dot jsp it first of all index dot jsp will run and it will move to the print date dot jsp and print date dot jsp start execution and uh, as it will execute it will display the date of today is uh, this is string and then it will display the time date and time so uh, it is under java dot util dot calendar class so get stands dot get time so simultaneously time and date will be displayed here so this is uh, forward page so forward page we can we will have the example to uh, example example of forward action tag without parameter so this is without parameter because we are not passing any parameter while in the second one we are passing the parameter you can see here the index.jsp same file is here html tag body tag then heading to this is index page now jsp colon forward page print date.jsp same statement is also there but in the next statement we are writing here jsp colon parameter name so here we are passing the parameter so again see this slide uh, in the in this slide second number and third number point you can see example of jsp colon forward action tag without parameter and another third line example of jsp colon forward action with with uh, action tag with parameter so this is with parameter so here we are passing one parameter parameter name is name and value java point dot com so we are passing this parameter and uh, the forward is closed jsp colon forward is closed here and body close html close now see this uh, the another file print date dot jsp so here print date dot jsp uh, if we are passing the parameter in the previous file then we can receive this parameter in that file request dot get parameter name so here we are passing jsp colon parameter name equals to name value java point dot com but same time we will receive it by get parameter function so the name will be received here name is a parameter see here param p a r m param name equals to name so this name will be received here by get parameter request dot get parameter so see the program uh, again print date dot jsp html it is started by html and body then percentage out dot print means it is output statement and today is, is a string and java dot util dot calendar dot get stands dot get time so it will display date and time and next line where we are receiving the parameter so percentage equals to request dot get parameter so get parameter name of the parameter name of the parameter value of the parameter is java point dot com so when this program will execute first of all it will display the date and time then it will display the name parameter get parameter name name the value of name that is java point dot com so output is java point dot com and body is closed and html is closed here now see the some standard actions also so these standard actions already i have explained you gsp colon include gsp colon forward gsp colon use bean in case of the java bean set property and get property are the part of this use bean and parameter as you have seen in the previous example and plugin also when we have to include uh, the applet program in jsp then we will use plugin so this is one more example where we are using this include directive so here include page we have mentioned here uh, include page equals to power of 2 dot jsp so include jsp colon include and jsp colon forward in case of jsp colon forward we uh, forward the parameter also but in case of the include we include that particular file in the uh, current page so current page is the index.jsp so inside the current page we are including power of 2.jsp and order from.jsp these two file we are including in the same uh, index file so uh, these two files you can see these two files also uh, here so this is the power of 2 so uh, i will explain it uh, so this is the uh, include page directive and in the previous one is the forward page directive this is the forward page directive so these are two 
part of this GSP action include directive as well as forward directive and use bean uh, is also be used for the java bean so in the later lectures of java bean we will discuss the use bean set property get property uh, also and jsp colon parameter we have used here in this uh, program jsp colon parameter name equals to name and value equals to java point dot com so these are the different example and this is one more example we can use the forward uh, directive also the action also jsp colon forward page 4 dot jsp so uh, this is also uh, with parameter we can we are forwarding to the next page 4 dot jsp uh, we will move to the next 4 dot jsp but uh, same time we will pass parameter name um, uh, parameter name equals to date so current date will be moved to the this uh, 4 dot jsp file so when we will start run this uh, 4 dot jsp so uh, it will have the date which is passed from the previous file so for jsp colon forward will be closed here so this is forward directive as well as this is the uh, also a forward directive here we are writing two two different files also uh, using here so we have written here condition if mat dot random uh, is greater than 5 we are using a random function so the value of random function is more than 5 then this uh, Fibonacci computation dot JSP uh, will start running because we have mentioned here JSP colon forward page so it will forward to the Fibonacci computa computation dot JSP file so it will start running this file if it is less than 5 in uh, we will move to this else case and the inside the else case we have forward page jsp colon forward page factorial computation so we will find the factorial of that number uh, which we have uh, mentioned above so this is the another program where we are using the forward directive also so this is uh, this is the example of this uh, fibonacci series fibonacci number calculation and this is the example another example of finding the prime number finding the prime number up to 20 so this is this is the factorial number of uh, of a number so these these are two two different example this is for the fibonacci series and this is for finding the factorial program so you know this program here uh, in case of the fibonacci series generation uh, we find the new number by adding two previous numbers so uh, we have mentioned here uh, one integer uh, variable array variable and one FIVO variable FIV variable FIV equals to new integer 20 the initially we have 0 and 1 value FIV 0 and FIV 1 we have initialized 0 and 1 then we will find the next value FIV 2 equals to FIV 0 plus FIV 1 means FIV i minus 1 plus FIV i minus 2 will be added and then finally we are finding FIV i so this way we are finding the new number and printing the same time we are printing this that number and up to 20 we will generate this Fibonacci series this is another example of calculating the prime number uh, sorry uh, factorial of any number so this is uh, the program where uh, we have this program will be started by the number number is a array equals to number equals to new long 20, 20 array of 20 so we will find 20 different factorial numbers so fact equals to new long 20 20 uh, we have uh, defined this array of uh, factorial and uh, initially initially the value of number 0 and number 1 is 1 and 1 and then the loop will start from 0 to 20 value of this number array will be assigned by the uh, natural number i equals to initially i is 0 then 1 2 3 4 so uh, this way all 20 values is assigned to the uh, number array in each value each each array location we have 0 1 2 3 4 5 up to 20 as the 20 means 19 up to 19 so this way we are finding the factorial so the first first loop is for the factorial initialized by uh, initialize the factorial array by one and in the second loop we are calculating the factorial it is nested for loop and in nested for loop we are writing the factorial equals to factorial into number uh, j and uh, next time j will be uh, uh, increased by one so it is up to i so this way we will be finding the factorial of each 
number of array and same way in the final loop we are printing this uh, factorial value of different different 20 different factorial value so the array of factorial we will display all factorial values so this is the long factorial program uh, uh, i think you understand this one uh, this program also so uh, finally you can see the different jsp action tag also again you can see jsp colon use bin declares the usage of the instance of a java bean component jsp colon set property set the value of property in a bean and jsp colon get property as the value we set for the java bean same value uh, will be gets by the get property function uh, get property tag jsp colon get property the value of the bean stands property converted into a string and jsp include jsp uh, jsp directive causing the associated file to be included and jsp is also this is important fact in fact that the sp tags are case sensitive so uh, we have to always remember that the case of uh, it is case sensitive so we have to mention the case also so finally thank you learner the learning outcome of this lecture is uh, learner can understand the jsp elements learner will understand the jsp action and its different types in next lecture we will discuss about the jsp implicit objects thank you learner thank you very much